just say it was an epic day. Ended up uh, checking out Uluru and Karajuda, which is pretty awesome. Watched the sunset at Uluru. We went to do some washing, so we went into Ayers Rock. And we were going to grab a campsite, but they were all booked out. So we had to do some washing and drying of clothes. So we did that. It was about 9.30. 10 o'clock maybe by the time we left and we got to here at Curtin Springs this free camp next to the roadhouse uh, probably about 11 yeah 11 quarter to 11 somewhere around there and then uh, we quickly set up camp had dinner at that time of the night and a cuppa and then off to bed so it's about 6 in the morning now um, just having a cuppa now and then we're going to pack up and get going at a reasonable hour this morning so we can head into Mount Dare hopefully today. We'll see how we go. I'll catch you in a little bit. Hey guys, just filled up at uh, El Dundo Roadhouse. $295 of fuel including the two jerry cans on the roof. And now we're heading down to Mount Dare by Fink. So it's going to be a pretty boring drive, not really going to feel much on this part of it. Yeah, it seems to be going alright, so we're going to give it an extra range and then we should be good to head across to Simpson tomorrow. So. Alrighty guys, just pulled up for lunch on our way to Fink and then to Mount Dare. Uh, we've aired down, it's constant dirt roads the next 250 kilometres. And it's pretty barren and red dirt nearly the whole way and a few corrugations, not too bad though. So we've just pulled down a side road off the main stretch that we're taking and uh, here's what we're dealing with at the moment. Just quite red and barren and uh, yeah, it's not bad. Nice bit of scenery, pretty easy driving, nothing too crazy. So we're gonna try and get into Mount Dare. It looks like it's gonna be around four o'clock. Hopefully we'll get a campsite there and uh, yeah, cook up some food. Tomorrow we hit the Simpson Desert, so it's exciting. I'm kind of uh, looking forward to it actually. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how we go. And uh, yeah, tomorrow Dalhousie Springs as well, so we get a bit of a dip in our thermal pool. So just on our way to Mount Dare, and we cut through this property which had to open and shut a gate for, and come across a uh, abandoned trailer. Someone's like homemade camper trailer. DOI. DOI aware. So they know about it. So someone's old, maybe it's been stolen and dumped here or something. But no axle on it. What do you reckon that was stripped? Yeah, the axle would have been taken out. That's what probably what the wheel bearing gave out. Ah, uh, okay. More than likely. Yeah. It's all homemade, so yeah, there we go. Something random, another one of the uh, random things to add that we've seen on the trip. So Bloody there we go. Box on the front, it's worth. Yeah, that box worth a fair bit. Gonna put it on your roof for what? <laughs> Gonna put it on your roof for what? <laughs> Alright guys, finally made it into Mount Dare, We're just setting up now, got the campfire going. Now I use some of the wood off the roof finally, and uh, yeah, I'm just getting to work here, setting up my stretcher. Nothing too fancy. Won't put the awning out tonight. Yeah, as I can't be bothered. So, tomorrow we hit Dare Springs, give a bit of a dip, and then we start heading across the Simpson Desert. Alright guys, we just left Mount Dare Station this morning. Filled up and now we're on our way to Dalhousie and boy are these roads corrugated. It's pretty bad. So I won't be filming much. Didn't really get a chance to film this morning. Shit is bad. Oh that. Hey, yeah, these are corrugated. Alrighty, so heading to the springs finally. Got here. It's quite windy, don't know if you can hear it. Out, go for a swim. Mm -hmm. uh, should be nice and warm. 
Oh wow, that is warm. Someone want a noodle? That's a nice pull. There you go. I'd love a noodle. There we go. Now, oh, I should actually touch the bottom here, kind of. How tall are you? Uh, no, that tall. Mine is not even six foot. I can touch here, actually. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Want me to be towed. Yep, same. Can you touch, Bracky? I can touch right here. Only just. Oh, boy, this is nice. Been seven days on the road. Uh, <laughs> been seven days on the road. Well, it's day eight now, isn't it? Yeah, we've been, we just crossed the desert. So uh, how was it? Hey? Did a French line? Yeah, oh, we did part of the French line, WAA. Yep. Uh, no, ring road. We did a bit of everything. How was it? Pretty good. Good. Yeah. Good track conditions. Uh, from we come from Birdsville, obviously, so um, yep. we we're pretty good. Um, going the other way, some, we noticed some of the, um, going up the dunes was pretty bumpy. Pretty bumpy? Okay. Yeah, yeah east to west is actually harder than the other way. So it should be a sharp ridge or something apparently. So, yeah. But, oh no, we've never done it. So. Yeah. Not too much trouble. No. Okay. The wind's taking me this way. Yeah, yeah, I've got the same rubble. And warm. <laughs> Oh, I'll live here. This is my bath water forever. <laughs> Where'd you come up from, Unadada? Yeah, we went through there on the way up. Yeah, it's your day off, is it? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Driving back to where I normally am. Oh, yeah? Where's that? Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. I'll get back to Marla and. How about that way? And then another two hours west back to where I live. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good to stop for a dip then, hey? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> I wasn't going to do it. Two hours away from the other door. Yeah. Yeah, we've got Simpson tonight and then. Oh, well, Simpson next three days, Birdsville, and then back in. But how good is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, we were at Point County Ball last night and a couple of fellas had a share and like, oh it's freezing, I'm like, oh I'll just wait till we go to the Dalhousie. And I was like, stuff it, and I got in there and it was nice and hot. <laughs> so good. Not as hot as this, but colder when you get out. <laughs> usually usually the case. <sighs> Alright guys, so that was Dalhousie Springs. Absolutely beautiful, about 39 degrees temp in the water. And yeah, there's quite a few people here, so definitely need that dip because now we're about to head across the Simpson very, very shortly. So it's going to set up our sand flags and uh, off we go. Alright guys, so we just noticed Pete's had a bit of a knocking noise coming from his car. We've checked it out and the actual brand new shock that he's put in has pulled has stripped the nut and pulled straight out through the hole and uh, wasn't even sitting in the in the mount. Now, we just come through a bumpy section and I saw his left hand and rear wheel get up in the air and that's the one that's uh, lost the nut. So we're not sure what we're going to be able to do. We're kind of heading into the Simpson now and uh, yeah, we're just not sure how we're going to be able to attach that shock if we can. So and we might have to do three days across with a loose shock until we get to Birdsville. So. Let's go see what's happening.
How stripped is it? Hi. How stripped is it? Well, there's the wash gun. Okay, that's one of them. So there's no bushes. They're on the bottom. Yeah, that's oh. no drama. Okay, so he's got no bush on the top. No top bushes. Okay, is the, what's the threat? What's the nut look like? Is it stripped or? I can't see it. No, you can't see it? Does it I'll feel? I'll pull it out and have a look, but I'll yeah. bet she's bloody naked. No? No, I can kind of see it from here. The fucking thing's been bashing up against here for a fucking long time. Mmm. Well, I can't even get, you can't even get your fucking hand in. If it was the right hand one, I'd have no trouble. Yeah, but it's always the left hand side, that's the problem. Mmm, don't know what to do. Hand in there to see if there's a bloody. Oh, I think the nut would have gone down through the bloody. Nothing in there. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Take the shocker right off. Well, that's your option. Right. That's your option, pretty much, all you can really do. Yep. Alright, so shocker's going to come out, we'll go across with a no left hand rear shock. Yeah. And uh, we'll see how we go, eh? That's pretty cool. Alright, yeah. bloody hell. Dramas! <laughs> hit the edge of the Simpson Desert so Wajira National Park is that way and through this way is the Simpson Desert so it's a uh, it's pretty bumpy and rocky or bumpy and corrugated lots of up and down and we just don't know what we're going to come across at the moment we do have to sit on channel 10 but we're going to scan it in case we need to talk to someone so um, otherwise we can't talk between our cars we ignore or annoy everyone else so but yeah this is this is it here Extreme temperatures, 40 to 50 degrees in summertime, so it's always closed there. So, um, if you have any problems, there are all the numbers and everything like that. So, and yeah, it's closed from the 1st of December to the 15th of March. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna hop back in and we're gonna keep going. All right, guys, we just rocked up to our first bush camp for the night, which is the first official one on the HEMA maps. And it's quite nice, we're the only ones here. And it is dead quiet, sun's starting to set. A bit bright actually still and yeah we're just setting up camp now tonight for dinner is burritos awesome so yeah so uh that's the simpson desert so far very scrubby not a whole lot of sand really the tracks are pretty rutted out pete's running on three shocks and it seems to be going all right so yeah, we'll see how we go from there. We'll keep this all posted. <laughs> 